Hello, Sagittarius. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another August reading. This will be for Sag Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and those of you that are Karas watchers connected to Sag, this can resonate for you as well. So, Sag, I'm checking in, in um, on your connection to see what's going on. I want to see who you are, who your person is, and what's going on with you guys. So let's see first for you, who are you right now in this connection when it comes to your special someone? Who are you? All right. Who is Sagittarius in this connection? Thank you. All right. Knight of Cups. You are smitten. <laughs> all right. So a lot of you are connecting to someone who has your heart. All right. You are emotionally very deeply invested, it feels. And I feel like a lot of you have some options surrounding you as well. Some of you may be dating more than one person, but you have your eye in particular on someone special. Right. Um, a lot of you are becoming softer, tapping more into your romantic energy because of this person. This is, this would be things like, you don't usually send a good morning text, but you're doing it with this one. You don't normally like comment on a post of somebody's, but you're doing it with this person. So there, this person has you like out of your comfort zone a little bit. Um, well, not necessarily out of your comfort zone as a Sagittarius. Possibly if you were guarded, um, you stopped doing things like that, those gestures until they were, until you knew like somebody really, really, really was invested here. Somebody is here like you may not even know if they're completely invested or not. You just know that you like them a lot and you are you feel like you're the the offer maker here or the pers the pursuer in that Knight of Cups energy. Um, they're bringing out. OK, so let's see who this person is. The Five of Swords wanted to come out. So I'm going to see who this person is and then get to that energy. OK, <laughs> temperance. OK. So you may have a Pisces. If you're dealing with a Pisces, you guys are twinning, okay? You guys have this twin flame connection and it feels like you are becoming like parts, like you're you're becoming more like them. They're becoming more like you, right? This could be a connection where your person is influencing like your sense of humor, your style, some of the words you use. You notice that you guys are starting to pick up on each other's energy, language, um, you know, each other's persona and aura. So you feel very closely connected. Now, your person is showing up as temperance, which would be your energy. So I do feel like they are showing up as having an invested interest in you, too. There may be, you know, more from coming from your person about being very patient. The five of swords actually feels like for some of you, this is somebody who may have wronged you in the past. And this is your second go round with them, right? You're giving them another chance. And so far, they're showing up. So Temperance feels like they don't want to fight with you. So they're doing everything in their power to make things work. Let's keep going here. What's going on in this connection with Sag and their person? Nine of Pentacles. All right. What else do we have? What's going on? Two of Pentacles. So... Um, the Ten of Cups here. So what happened was a lot of you started, you know, what always works, doing you, focusing on you. I feel like a lot of you made yourself a much more attractive prospect to this particular person because you did prove that you didn't need them, right? You, you were able to show them that you could, you know, date other people, that you are, you know, not lacking in people of interest or people that are attracted to you, right? Um, I do feel like a lot of you are getting closer to this person. So I'm seeing energies of wanting to invite them to the home if you haven't already. There's also something coming through about um, financially, you may be more stable than they are. I feel like it's you. There's something coming through with money here, right? Um, or something like you have your own house. Maybe they are not as, you know, maybe they could be going from house to house or something like that. They haven't settled down or found a permanent place. Three of pentacles, more pentacles. Something about the finances is coming through, Sag. So I do feel like um, also, yeah, king of um, pentacles for sure. And the hierophant. Um, here's what I'm picking up. A lot of you are dealing with marriage material. And some of you may have been the ones to say, if you want to marry me, if you want 
to be with me in this committed way. You have to show me that you're financially capable of providing for me. And a Sagittarius will be blunt just like that. But I feel like with this Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, I mean, I'm sorry, Three of Pentacles and King of Pentacles, um, you guys have already proven that you can take care of yourself. You could take care of a house and home. You're very talented, skilled, gifted. You're very abundant here. You need to see more of that from this person because you're already feeling them or you already have deep love for them. And I feel like you could be dealing with somebody who needs some more patience to get their, their finances together. Um, and so that's what they're working on right now. Some of you have somebody who wants to move in with you and you're weighing the pros and cons of that. Let, let me see why this um, two of pentacles is here. You have Taurus very strongly, Sag, Capricorn, Virgo as well. Um, Judgment, Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like this person... There's a job. I feel like the person you're dealing with, they don't want to do it. <laughs> they don't like this idea of a job, but they're thinking about the future. They're like, look, Sag just needs me to show that I can, you know, keep a job, that I can be steady, that I can be stable here. I'm going to show Sag that, but I do feel like it's coming through. There's something that, you know, um, because I feel like they've been going back and forth on something, it feels like they, they don't have the top choice that they wanted. And so they are about to settle possibly for a certain career or a certain job, but they are only doing it because they, they want a future with you. What is this three of pentacles? They really want to get along with you. Like they are not trying to do anything to get on your bad side right now. So if you've had a financial conversation with them or something about them needing to be more um, committed or stable, they are <laughs> definitely four of pentacles and the four of wands. Okay. Both about stability here. So they they definitely got the message, Sag. I feel like you guys put it out there. Look, I'll be with you. I'll stop dating other people. I'll fully invest and commit to this, but you have to show me that it's worth my time. I feel like that's what's coming through. Some of you um, are dealing with somebody that you do want to partner up with long term. And so there's conversations and actual movement towards saving. Maybe somebody here maybe not you, right? But some Sag here is wanting a joint account with their person. So I do see that so that you guys can blend your finances together. Um, You guys may be dealing with somebody who was at the top of their career. They made a lot of money and there's been some sort of job loss or something. So they got to start from the bottom or they had to start from the bottom. Why is this King of Pentacles here? So they need a little more time to get what they lost. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Thank you. Mm, lovers. Yeah. And Seven of Wands. I feel like they're doing it for you. If they're making any changes and improvements, if they're starting to work more, um, starting to take, you know, ser more seriously their career and finances, it's because they want to keep you around, right? Um, you guys are a, a big deal to this person. Very abundant, very like, just, I feel like a very nurturing partner for them, someone that they can't lose with, right? So you do have somebody, you have a twin flame connection with a soulmate energy here. And I do feel like if there were any any sort of obstacles in your connection, it had to do with money. And I do feel like your person is doing what they can to make sure money is no longer an obstacle. The Ace of Wands is confirmation that um, you or your person may have recently gotten an idea like, oh, I know how we can bring more money into the household or, or oh, I saw this, that, you know, these people are hiring. I saw this new job thing. You know, you should check them out. There's just something happening so that you guys can stay together. The universe is moving in your favor and in the favor of this connection. Um, so there are things happening for sure. Okay. Um, some of you are like, it's been a long time now and it's been two years and they still haven't found a stable job something may come into play during Sagittarius season around your birthday. That could be something you don't know that you're getting a message here from the cards. That's going to be a real new beginning on your next birthday. There's going to be something that is going to um, bring something new into your life. 
And I feel like it could be this person getting an amazing job. Whatever job they feel like they are working on now, it almost feels like they don't want to. It feels like they're settling. It feels like they know they have to do what they have to do. But the two of pentacles is like, I don't get paid enough. This could be you guys too. I don't get paid enough. I hate the hours. I hate the people, but I know what I got to do, right? So there's a better work situation coming in for one or both of you. I feel like you guys are the more sufficient one though. Um, and it feels like this person has some catching up to do because not because they're lazy, but something they lost a job or they lost something and they're trying to regain that. All right. So Sag, you have Gemini here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Leo. OK, so that is what I have for you, Sag. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me. Check out the details in the description box.